Today we're going to mangle the drummer in Apple Logic Pro with the help of two very high-tech lo-fi plugins. In Phonics emulation of the classic Akai 950 sampler audio signal flow, and an emulation of analog cassette technology from Waves Factory. I'd go ahead and get some headphones. You're going to need them for this demonstration. In the meantime, I'll launch Apple Logic Pro with the help of good old Alfred here. First thing Logic will want us to do is set a key and a tempo. We're not going to worry about the key because it's not going to be a song with a melody. We'll change the tempo to 100 beats per minute. And next, Logic will want to know what type of track we want to create. We want to create a drummer track. A drummer track essentially is a drum pattern built by Logic based on choices that we make. But before we dive in, I'm going to want to clean up my workspace here. I'm going to get rid of this extra column here on the far left. And I'm going to collapse some of this information here in the track. And for my own sanity, I'm going to set up the loop function so that I don't have to keep restarting the pattern. This way it'll play end-to-end -end repeatedly while we make alterations and modifications to both the rhythm and the uh, audio. When Logic sets up the drummer track, it also puts in place some EQ and compression to make the drum track sound more finished, more polished. But of course we don't want that. We want the drum tracks to be as raw as possible. So once we've removed all the polish, no more EQ or compression or other effects, we can start building a drum track that's raw. I'm going to refrain from talking for the rest of the demonstration so you can focus on what you hear. <laughs> 